Welcome back everybody, this is Cliff again. I thought it'd be fun to do a little compare and contrast. So Mike Lambeau has recently, relatively recently, released Fields of Normandy 2, the follow-on to Fields of Normandy 1 after a year. And in that, he's included tanks, Panzer IVs, and a campaign system, which is kind of fun. And not knowing that he was doing that, I had been working on my own kind of expansion of Fields of Normandy 1, where I added, well, tanks in the form of Stugs, assault guns, and a campaign system. So hey, more the merrier, right? You should definitely still buy all of Mike's stuff. It's awesome. I just thought show you the two different ways that we went about this, sort of on our own, independently, and how they're similar, how they're different. Why not? So in the campaign that I created, there are 20 scenarios that you can play, and I'm going to do The Beast, number 15, because it involves one of the armor units, the Stug. So, unlike his, these come out on the board right away, the tanks may appear in Field to Normandy 2 or not, and these have facing. And in my version of this, the tanks have field of view, and they're multi-hex field of view, sort of like in Lone Sherman, where it can view along the rows of hexes but not along the spines. So we'd be able to see up onto that hill, down this long row, and to that building, and down this row into those trees. And he projects five firepower, five plus, into all those. So the goal here is to knock out the beast and all of the supporting infantry, which there are one, two, three, four, five, six of those, in Fields of Normandy 2, there's 12 places. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll just mark those on the hill, on the hill, in the woods, in the woods, in the woods, and in the building. Got to clear those. We only get 8 turns, you get 10 in Fields of Normandy 2. We get our British guys, they're American in Fields of Normandy 2. So obviously I'm going to need to put my mortar on that hill. So we're going to put the mortar here and we're going to need the Piot, since we're British, here. They're going to need some rifle help. So we'll put Abel there. I'll put the other three over here Baker and Charlie and the machine gun to clean out that building and help clear out these trees. We can only move up the map in Fields in Normandy 1. You have a little more latitude in your movement in Fields in Normandy 2. That's where we are. Now I have my two die here. The red die is for when we need to roll one die to determine placement of enemy soldiers. Otherwise we'll roll two. So I'll always roll two and sometimes we'll just pay attention to the red one. That's just the way it is. Turn one. Um, we're going to do Baker Charlie machine gun over here first. So Baker is going to roll a two one and two with my rifle squad in this way. I use mission nine from the book. You'll need the book still for my expansion, for all the tables and rules. Rifle Squad with 2 is Advanced Scout. So we're going to scout this building with Baker. Take that off. And what do we get there? We get a 6. And a 6 is a minefield. So, yeah, we'll put a minefield there. 
We scouted it so it doesn't bother us. So the building is verboten. Charlie. It's going to roll a 2-4. Well, we're definitely going to scout this red guy. We roll a six there, another minefield. Well, that's not nice. And my machine gun. We have to do the things in order here. Now, I wasn't going to advance, and the scout is second order, so they don't get to doing advancing. The machine gun is going to roll. A three, one. My machine gun on a three can advance and cover or rally advance. We're going to advance and cover. The cover is not so important right now. But we can throw it on there. I'm going to put these to the front just to be sure that they float on top. He's got cover. They're going to have to work their way around get around that minefield and then come off the hill to these guys. Everybody's going to be on the hill. Able. 2-3. We are definitely scouting. Please do not be a minefield. That would be very, very bad. 1. Almost as bad. That's a heavy machine gun. And the heavy machine gun is going to be pointed off somewhere. Oh, I'm going to copy this guy, paste him. I'm going to put him on the hill, and I'm going to face him off this way. I can't really flank him because of that stupid minefield. My mortar and my Piat team, well, I'm not advancing them off of this. So they're just going to sit pat. That is turn one. That's as much as we can do. They don't have a shot. So we move on to turn two. Well, the mortar is going to be supporting my attack. Um, let's try to move Baker and Charlie up. Baker, six five. That moves him into here. Charlie, 4-4. Four, four. Fire and cover, I want to reroll that. 5 gives me fire advance. He can advance. The machine gun is not going to move for now. Not for now. We'll come back to him. We're going to do able next. Give me a six. Three, four. Advance and cover, fire and cover. We're going to get shot at no matter what. No, we're not. Because we're not adjacent. hate this we need to get moving but I refuse to risk too much right away I want that hill but I want to do it on my terms next turn okay Baker we got Baker and we got Charlie first Baker it's a six. Baker's moving up. That's advance and fire. He's on a hill. The hill has no cover. So we are an eight plus. We're to do not in woods, not in building, not attacking from a hill. Got no flanking, but I do have the mortar. So eight, seven, six. Six, got him. Baker got him, goes on to Baker. 
keep track of who got the kills for my campaign. Charlie, 4 1. Rally grenade, fire cover. He'll take the cover. The machine gun is undercover. 1 5. Machine gun, 1 rally advance. He's going to advance. Able, 1 2. Rally grenade, 2. Advance or scout, can't scout. Able moves up. Piot, six or two. Advance and cover. I really don't care about the covers. Come on. Come on. And the mortar, four and six. Advance. They've got no targets. Move up the next turn. We'll do able first. Four or one. Fire cover, one. Rally grenade. Able is not doing anything. Baker. One or three, advance and cover. Baker is advancing and covering. The cover doesn't matter. Abel's done. The machine gun. Four or one. Cover fire, rally advance, advance. Machine gun advances. Um, Piot. Five or one. Rally advance is five, or one rather. And then my mortar. 2-2 two, two. is Rally Advance, puts him up on the hill. These four guys are on the hill, Abel's down. This guy, Charlie, is going now. 4-4, four, four. Fire Cover, I reroll. 4-5, five. 5 is Fire Advance. Charlie moves up here and loses his cover. Covers are not important right now. He's got nothing. Next turn. I'm going to be hard pressed to clear him out. I want to see if I can move Baker down next to the tank to support. One or five. Five is fire in advance. Baker's going to move down next to the tank. Ballsy move. He can't do anything. Piot. Two or six. Advance and cover. He advances and covers. The mortar staying put and so is the machine gun. And we're going to try to move Abel and Charlie up on top of the hill. Abel. 5-3, five, 5 is fire advance, so Abel moves up, and Charlie, 5-5, five, five, They that does it for them, that's it for this turn, but now the tank does get to fire, he's 5, Baker's in the open, 5 plus, that's it. There's no protection. He rolls a nine and he gives us low morale. The Piot is a six plus. Six it disrupts him as well. 
our next turn. Piot for all the money rolls. 3 6. 6 is a fire. We only get to do the first command, and it is a fire command. He's a 7 plus. 6 because we got help. 5 4 for the mortar. And we take him out. The stug goes onto the piot. All right. That was for all the money. Now we need um, Baker here, who is eh, disrupted. 6-2. He can advance if he wants. He chooses to ignore. He was just trying to rally. Abel. 5-4. Fire advance or fire cover. He's just going to sit there. Charlie gets to um, to scout. He's going to scout these woods on that hill, and it is a two, which is also a heavy machine gun. I'm going to put the heavy machine gun on the hill facing this way, giving me a chance to get up and flank him. Mortar, machine gun, I choose not to expose them. Next turn. They have no shots. My Piot is no more good, so he's going to sit still. We're just going to try to rally him. And we get a 1. That's a rally. Takes that off. Um, this infantry. Baker. We're trying to move up into flank position. Double four, that's a fire. I re-roll. Double sixes, that's advance. Baker's going to advance. He cannot be fired at. Mortar's going to sit still. Um, Abel and Charlie. Abel gets a four three. Fire cover, fire advance. Going to advance to here. And Charlie. 2-2. Two, two. Advance and scout. We're going to scout this guy. He is one another heavy machine gun we're going to face him this way so we can flank him in my machine gun team I don't feel like risking okay, I've got Baker here. Baker rolls ones. Mm, I could rally, but right now it's more important that I get a shot off. Four three. Four is a fire. He's an eight. Seven six. Seven, because of the trees. Six, we miss. Frick. Able. Two, two. Advance or scout. Reroll. Two, one. We're stuck with advance. Oh. 
Um, Charlie. Five two. <sighs> He's advancing. Machine gun. Five three. Advancing and covering. Their turn. Their heavy machine gun is five, four. Four against Abel, Charlie, and five against the machine gun. Abel, Charlie, miss the machine gun. Abel and Charlie each take a hit. Need some shots, boys. All right, Baker. Six is advance. One is a rally. Well, he rallies. Not what I needed. Able. Six or three, advance or advance. Abel's going to advance over here, out of harm's way. Charlie, six or two, two is advance, six is advance. He advances out of harm's way. Machine gun. Three, three. Advance or cover, I'm re rolling. One, three. He's advancing as well, out of harm's way. He loses that cover. They can't fire at me. We've expended all eight turns, now we're over. This is turn nine. Able. Got an advance and fire. So Able's coming back. That's Charlie. That's the machine gun. Here comes Able. Able still only got one thing. Force fire. He's firing from there. He's low morale. Firing. Eight. Nine. Eight. Seven. Takes him out. Abel takes him out. Um, Baker. One one re rolls. Two five. Fire advance, Baker advances. Charlie is low morale. Five is fire. Two is advance. He advances. The machine gun. Five one can advance. Piot's done, motor's done. They've got no shots. Turn ten. We're gonna try Charlie. Three three. 
That's an advance. I'm going to reroll. 2-2. Two, two. It's advance or scout. Or it's just advance because Charlie is still wounded. Reroll. Take the one and rally. This guy's back here. Able. 4 3. He's advancing. Baker. 1 5. Grenade. Tosses a grenade. It's 6 plus. 7. Takes him out. Baker gets this guy. Machine gun team. One or a two. He can advance to spot him. He's spotted. And he is a five. A rifle squad. Eight, nine plus, eleven manages to suppress me. Turn eleven. I want to run Baker. Gets a six. That's an advance in fire. Eight. Nine eight seven six gets him, and there we are. Baker got three. So that took us eleven turns. If I go and pull up my campaign log. Launch that in a sec here. Drag it on screen. That was mission 15. I see that Abel got one, Baker got three, and the Piot got one. Abel got one, the Piot got one, Baker got three, and actually, in the process, the um, mortar had been helping out all those attacks. Every single one of those kills, all four of those kills, five of those kills, because he even helped with the Stug. He got one, two, Three. He helped with four. He helped with five of those attacks. So he gets two, because he gets one experience point for every pair. So my mortar gets two as well. It took me 11 turns, so we're going to be three over par. And. We've got Abel is actually low morale and the machine gun is low morale. So Abel doesn't get that one. Instead, he's wounded. And the machine gun's wounded. And that carries forward. We don't pay points here. We have to decide whether we're going to leave them back and start the next. Um, mission without them and then they'll automatically heal or else they come into the next mission in their wounded state and we have to try to rally them in that mission. So that is how this works. Now we got three experience points here and I can actually buy accuracy for three points and Baker's going to come in with accuracy which will allow us a minus one onto hit rolls because they'll be better marksmen. 
So we'll probably come in with a wounded Abel, a better Baker, and we'll probably leave the machine gun team home to let them heal up and just come into the next mission without them. But we'll have to see what that is. We roll a d20 and see which they are. This is how my expansion for Fields in Normandy 1 works. The tanks are static, but they have longer fields of view cut across that whole map. The mortars can gain experience by supporting fire. If I try to cross this, that Stug has a 5 plus all the way down this axis. So it kind of cuts this map off. So you're kind of forced to come up on the hill and take care of the Stug or take your chances trying to run through the building. But the building was booby trapped. We could have tried to remove the booby traps by staying one turn, one turn adjacent and doing nothing else. You can clear that booby trap and then move through. But even then, it's a 5 plus, 6 plus, 7 plus. Pretty good shot. You're going to get hit by that tank. The accuracy bonus will go on to Baker next time. So Baker just comes down like this. And I bring an accuracy bonus. And all I do is I put it underneath and align them. Nice. And then I just click them both and I group them. And then the two move together. I get that plus one. That affects the rifle skills, not the grenade skills. So that is my expansion for Fields of Normandy 1. I'm going to play a round of Fields of Normandy 2, as written by Mike, and compare and contrast. But that's another day. I'll see you then. Later. <laughs>